Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Malligator Mom, and today you guys are gonna come along with me while I take all three of my Belgian Malinois for an off-leash hike. So if you wanna join us, stay tuned. So if you're someone who regularly watches my channel, then you know I don't do product reviews very often. But today I'm making just a little bit of an exception because a wonderful company by the name of Embark sent all three of my Belgian Malinois a beautiful setup with three harnesses and some amazing uh, leashes and collars, everything to go with it to just completely set them up. And so because they were so generous with us, uh, I told them that I would be happy to go ahead and provide an honest review. So although this company, Full Transparency, uh, did send me these products for free, I told them that I would be giving an honest review, meaning I did not promise them that my review would be full of only positive uh, fluff and, you know, trying to get you guys to buy something because that's just not what my channel is about and I really don't think that that's what my viewers are here for. So um, I do want to just let you guys know though that the harnesses and leashes that you're going to see in today's video were sent to me by Embark and I'm going to go ahead and drop the link for the products that they sent me down in the uh, description of this video. But otherwise, let's get started. So I'm here with my awesome, awesome adventure pups and we have been sent this amazing haul by Embark. We've got the adventure harness, the Sierra leash, check out that buckle. Raya is ready to go. We're gonna get all of this gear hooked up on these pups and we are gonna go for an awesome little hike um, out down to the creek. So let's get all these guys outfitted and see how it looks. All right, so we've got them all outfitted. Riot is wearing a large, Storm is wearing a medium, Siri here is wearing a small, and uh, they look pretty colorful. They are pretty colorful. They're looking pretty cute. Fury's like, Mom, why did you put the pink one on me? So when it comes to getting ready to go on a hike with my dogs, the most important thing is always going to be bringing plenty of water. So I always make sure that I pack lots of water for the dogs and myself. I also make sure that I bring their collapsible water bowl. That way they have a way to actually drink the water while we're out in the woods. And then I also pack just a few essentials from my first aid kit here. Now this is a very comprehensive first aid kit and so I don't bring everything, but there are a few small item, items that are my grab items, like my to-go items. So I will open this up and the things that I always bring with me, even if it's just gonna be a short outing, are of course some trauma bandage, some tape. If it's summer, I'm gonna bring some instant uh, cold compress packs. I always grab my antidote gel. So basically um, this is medicine for if my dogs are out and they ingest some kind of poison or there's some poison left in a trap and that kind of thing because we've got coyotes and critters out here that the neighbors don't like and my dogs get it and ingest it this will take care of that. So I always make sure that I pack those things. And then of course I pack a small thing of wound seal in case they get a cut or hurt out there and just some wound wash. So those are my to go items. Those are my grab items. I don't actually bring this huge pack with me when I'm just going on this small hike. Let's uh, zip this up and head on out. Like I said, this is an off-leash hike for us, which means that I'm in an area where I know that that is allowed. So I definitely recommend if you do want to go off-leash hiking with your dogs that you know the area and you know that that is something that's okay for you to do. So when we go on an off-leash hike with my dogs, I really do just kind of let them explore. So whether or not you can see, there's Fury, she's way out there. There's Riot constantly marking his territory along the path. Oh, he found something interesting. Maybe it's a snake. What'd you find, buddy? What is that? 
get away from it, whatever it is. Okay. Yep, we don't want to mess with that. Hey, back. So safety, obviously, that's important. Again, you know I've got my, um, my first aid kit with me. There are snakes and critters and all kinds of things out here in Tennessee, so we do have to be very careful of where we go and the rocks and there's poison ivy and all kinds of things that can get us into trouble. So we have to be super careful, but um, ultimately I do just kind of let them free roam and go have a good time. This is a great time for them to use their nose, to be dogs, to have some freedom. Boop, 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 boop. And every once in a while, I'll just call them back to me. Boop, 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 boop. See, there they come. There's Storm. There's Fury, she's making her way. Good girl, good. So I just make them check in every so often, you know, probably every 100 feet or so. I just have them check in and uh, they just have a great time out here. I wanted to just go over what I thought about these harnesses. Um, I'm going to start with the negatives first, which you'll be happy to know there aren't that many. The first one being that I wasn't really a big fan of the ease of adjusting the buckles um, when it comes to fitting and sizing the harness onto your dog. This is probably just because I'm a little spoiled with my working dog harnesses. I spent hundreds of dollars on them. They're custom made to fit my dog. So I'm just not used to having to um, mess with all this but you know the good news is you only have to do it one time right and then you never have to do it again so um, I definitely think that given that a lot of it is hidden underneath this fabric and there's these loops and this kind of thing here it's definitely meant to be a little more aesthetically pleasing rather than uh, functional right but um, again, you only have to do it one time, so not that big of a deal. I also noticed that unfortunately, this one here sustained an injury, and I honestly have no idea how it happened. Uh, this is the one that Storm was wearing, so that actually doesn't really surprise me. She's a bit of a wild child, but uh, you gotta keep in mind, you know, I'm out there with three Belgian Malinois, and we're not taking a casual stroll through the park. We're out here in the backwoods of Tennessee, and she's running through the muck and jumping over trees and just, being crazy, living her best life. So, um, you know, it, it's got this gash right here that actually went all the way through and I have no clue how it happened. However, the great thing about Embark is that they actually offer a one year warranty on uh, all their harnesses and things. So even if your dog was to chew this up, it says on their website, you could send this in and they will replace it for you. So you can't really beat their warranty. That's really awesome. The other thing I'm not really crazy about is that they advertise these as no pull harnesses. And they do that because they've put a buckle here on the chest plate, right? 
and then there's also a buckle that goes on the back. And because of this front buckle on the chest plate, they advertise it as no pull harness. But if you are a consumer of my content and you've ever heard me talk about harnesses, then you know that a no pull harness is just an advertising and marketing ploy. There's no such thing as a no pull harness. Harnesses were literally designed for opposition reflex. They're designed to encourage your dog to pull. So if you are considering uh, an Embark harness because you think that this is going to prevent your dog from pulling on walks, I just wanna be really upfront with you. That's just a load of bullpucky. There is no such thing. So um, don't be fooled by that marketing ploy. But the things that I like about this harness actually far outweigh the couple negatives that I just mentioned. So I do like the fact that these buckles seem to be pretty nice heavy duty buckles. They do have metal buckle on the front and back. And I also really like the fact that they have a handle. I'm a really big fan of a harness with a handle. I have working dogs and I oftentimes have to reach down and grab my dog. Um, so having this handle is always a big, big plus for me. It's a great feature. And obviously you just cannot be all of the different colors and designs that they come in. You know, it honestly was like such a treat to be able to put these on my dogs and kind of dress them up. Like that's what it felt like for me because I'm just used to seeing my dogs in their black leather working harnesses. Um, so, so to see them in all of this colorful gear was just like a blast. It was a lot of fun. So if you're looking for some type of harness that's just really bright and colorful and you can have lots of options and, and colors and things to pick from, then Embark is definitely going to be uh, where you should go take a look because all the patterns and colors that they have to offer are absolutely amazing. So while these harnesses might not be the best for dogs like mine, I think that they're probably a fantastic buy for like 99% of folks out there who are looking for a harness for their dog. This is a great lightweight everyday harness. It's also at a fantastic price point. These harnesses are all available for under $30. Like I don't even know how that's possible. That's a fantastic price point. I have personally spent hundreds of dollars on harnesses. So believe me when I tell you that's a really great buy. It's also available on Amazon. So if you have Prime, I went and looked and checked and several of their products are actually available on Prime, which means you can get their stuff in two days. You really can't beat that. It's also really cool that their prices are all the same no matter what size you pick. So a small harness is gonna cost the same as a large harness. It's not gonna be like a $20 increase in the price because you need a size large or extra large harness. The price is the same. I think that's pretty cool. Those of you that know me know that I am always, always, always on the hunt for a really good leash. It's kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. I have tons and tons and tons of leashes stashed away. It would probably be a little embarrassing if I showed you guys my collection of leashes. Uh, so I was really excited that they sent me a couple leashes to try out as well. They sent this one, which I'm really a big fan of. It's a nice gray reflective leash and it's got that really nice dark metal, um, gun metal buckle, the, the, the snip on kind. So it just snips right on and it's really easy to work with. I really like this a lot. And then I also got this one and this one is so much fun. I love the color of this. It's made out of that nice heavy duty hiking rope. It has the um, carabiner clip here on the end. So it just looks really cool and it's a lot of fun. It's a nice length and I can actually see myself using this quite a bit. So um, I, I definitely recommend checking out these leashes. They're a lot of fun and they're definitely really nice quality, especially again for this price point. So definitely check them out if you're looking for something um, fun and functional and well-made. And of course we have to talk about the fact that this product was all designed by three friends who had a love of dogs who came together to develop these products. And I think that's absolutely amazing. It's definitely worth getting behind. I know that they have headquarters out here in the South in, Car in South Carolina. So that's also super cool. Um, definitely go check out their story. You can find their products all in the description that I'm going to drop below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys all same time next week.